Blessed be the name of the Lord. We're on an exciting journey through this book of Revelation, a very powerful book. Can be difficult to understand many things we don't understand, but there are things that we can grab a hold of and it strengthens our faith and it, it solidifies our faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants, and thank God he reveals things to us, you know. We are not totally disconnected from God. God reveals things to us. He gives it these um, in, in dreams and in visions and um, prophecy. So God communicates with us. And this is exactly what's happening here in Revelation. So that's why we need to remain in connection with God so that he can speak to us. So it's the revelation of Jesus, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. God does not want us to remain ignorant. He wants us to know what he's doing in the world today. <clears throat> And what is there for us in the future so that our hope and our faith can be strong and we can be um, filled with zeal with enthusiasm with power with joy with peace we not be rattled with what's going on in the world today he made it known by sending his angel and thank god for angels you know angels the bible says they are ministering spirits to minister to us who are the ears of salvation we've got angels all around us in your home you've got angels by your bed you've got angels as a child of god the angels are with you in your car as you're driving on the subway where you are getting to work when we gather in the presence of god and we are worshiping god we're lifting our hands and praising god angels are surrounding that place amen so you got angels all around us all the time and God sent this angel to to um to his servant John who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ even to all that he saw now here my question for us is today are we being like John bearing witness to the word of God and bearing witness to Jesus I think you know this is what Jesus said you will receive power after the holy ghost the holy spirit has come upon you and you will be you will be witnesses unto me, Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, to the uttermost parts of the earth. We are in the uttermost parts of the earth. Are we children of God, Christians, born again, filled with the Spirit of God? Are we being witnesses of Jesus, telling our friends, telling our neighbors, telling those around us, our workmates and so on, telling everyone about Jesus? You know, let us use social media, use your, your different chat groups and so on um, to talk about Jesus lift up the name of jesus and so the bible says he bore witness to the word of god and to the testimony of jesus even to all that he saw blessed is the one who reads aloud now here's this precious promise in this book blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy so i know i'm going to get a blessing because i'm going to be reading this aloud to you over the next few months blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy and Blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written in it for the time is near. Here, so here's the blessing. When you read, when you hear, and when you do it, when you obey it. There's a lot of prophecy here, but there's a lot of instruction also for us as individuals, as Christians, for us to obey as we're following the Lord. For the Bible says, for the time is near. The time is near. We need to understand that the time is near. We are living in the last days, the very last days. This may be the very generation that will see the rapture, the coming of the Lord, the start of the tribulation. We don't know. We don't know for sure when because no one knows that time, that hour. And anyone who says he or she does, we know that's a mark of a false prophet, a false teacher. Amen. So we will continue tomorrow as we get into verse number 4 of Revelation 1. God bless.